<sighs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Welcome back to Budster Brown Off the Cuff, where I give you my unscripted thoughts on the newest releases coming out. Which unfortunately means I'm talking about Aquaman 2. Why did you do this to me? I brought my friends to this movie. Luckily for you guys, I don't have a whole lot to say about this movie, meaning I won't waste your time like Aquaman 2 wasted my time. But before I tell you why this movie didn't really work for me, let's talk about some of the good things that I actually liked about this movie. I think the best thing that I can say about this movie is that it stole some of that fun energy from the first Aquaman movie. It's really dumb most of the time, but that can just put a smile on my face. Aquaman's brother Orm's in the movie, Movie. He's pretty cool. I like his relationship with Aquaman and how they're very different and from different backgrounds and so they clash on a lot of ideologies but at the end of the day they kind of come together to be bros. I wish it was better done but it, it was there. Black Manta was also almost cool. I'll get to that more in a second. He just looks really cool. He's got this laser beam. Aesthetically he checks all of the boxes. There are also moments where his revenge quest is at the forefront and I I think that that is when he is at his best. I would say on paper he's more of a compelling villain than Orm from the first movie. So the movie kind of has that going for it as well. Let's see. The shots are good. Not all of them, but there were times when I would see these little fragments, little glimpses, and I would be like, that looks pretty cool, which is something I don't say a whole lot when I'm watching like an MCU movie. So in that instance, I think the movie did something well, and some of the action scenes were also adequate. Yeah, I don't really have anything else nice, do I? Well, <sighs> Let's get into the negatives. Let me start with a little bit of a lower criticism, but I still think it stands. The movie is worse than the first one on almost every calculable measurable level. While the shots are cool in this movie, the shots looked cooler in the first movie. While there's some good action in the second movie, it is better in the first movie. While the script was bad in the first movie, it is even worse in Aquaman 2. While the performances weren't great in the first movie, they're somehow even worse in the second movie, which leads into my next problem. Everyone seems so bored. Jason Momoa seems bored. Patrick Wilson seems bored. Amber Heard seems like she's showing up at gunpoint. Jango Fett seems bored. Black Manta seems bored. Nobody wanted to be here and you can feel that which made it feel like i didn't want to be there either and because everyone was so bored when they actually had to show up to work for an emotional moment they like never landed they either undersold it or oversold it by being like oh, no or they were just like, they don't care and they're speaking in a monotone voice while the music loudly blares in the backgrounds over the voices like it's a Sonic Adventure 2 cutscene or something. The pacing in this movie is also bad. The pacing is fast, yet it feels slow at the same time. It's like the worst of both worlds. It's too fast, yet it feels slow. They keep jumping from set piece to set piece and they keep saying, we're going here for this, we're going here for this. And it doesn't stick with a set piece long enough to have any sort of impact on me as a viewer whatsoever. So by the time I get to the end, I'm like, what happened? Like, what was the plot of this movie? It just was like, zoosh. This movie was just a whole lot of nothing. If you want to talk about wasted potential, I gotta say, Black Manta is at the top of that list. The whole last movie teased him as the next villain, and I was really excited. Unfortunately, he discovers this magic trident, so then he kind of gets possessed by some under the sea evil wizard that somehow the brother of the king old king of atlantis i i don't i don't really fully understand but point is he shows up possesses black manta so his revenge quest just is completely undercut and then once the evil wizard under the water wizard don't ask me to remember his name finally shows up aquaman literally throws his trident at him and it is over. It's like, this is the guy you've been building up. Also, I'm not sure Black Manta kills anyone in this movie, so he's not even a threatening villain. There's this one Asian scientist dude that just keeps betraying him and keeps being like, I'm gonna betray you, and all Black Manta does is, hey man, 
don't do that again or something bad will happen. And he does that like four times and doesn't do anything. And it just drove me insane. I'm like, Black Manta needs to be ruthless and feel like a physical threat. Instead, he just hits Amber Heard with a laser beam and they're like, oh no, she's in hospital. She might die. And I'm like, well, she's not going to die. She's going to come back. Not for one second was I worried about anyone. I just was completely uninterested in this movie. Nothing really worked. The only positive that I can give the movie is that it was just sometimes fun-ish. And to top it off, this is the last movie in the DC Expanded Universe. The last one. The DC Universe wasn't perfect, but it had some movies in there that I truly truly liked and I truly saw potential in it. And the fact that Warner Brothers just crapped out Aquaman 2 and clearly cut it up a, a bunch. It's not the movie that James Wan intended. And I know that they had massive studio problems. And I was just thinking like, why not just let James Wan release a James Wan movie? You have nothing to lose. Instead, they just cut it into a billion pieces, made it super generic and boring, everything moves too fast. What a waste. What a complete waste of time. And I'm just left disappointed that this is how DC has decided to go out. Not with a bang, but with an underwater wet fart. Sorry, I wasn't expected to get that serious for my Aquaman 2 review, but if you guys liked this video, hey, subscribe and comment down below. Did you like Aquaman 2? I mean, if you did, kudos to you. I'm glad that you at least were able to derive some enjoyment out of it. And you know, what's your favorite DC Expanded Universe movie? Mine is Batman v Superman, The Ultimate Cut. Let me know. And uh, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.